Hi, welcome again. Here I'm inside a pathway. You can see this pathway has real geometry in it. We use displacements to get that uh, details. For example, you can see the, we have real geometry. How we get this is interesting. Here we are using the virtual height field mesh because tessellation is replicated in 4.26 and it's removed in 5.0. And this is the only way you can achieve this sort of result in landscapes. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to get virtual height field mesh support in your game without doing a lot of configurations. All right, let's get started. So let's start the one minute demo. Here we have a landscape created using open land and then we created this pathway. Now let's add virtual text support, edit, project settings and search for virtual. And here we have a virtual text support. So we really need to have this. Okay, make sure you have enabled this checkbox. Then we need to install a plugin called virtual height field mesh. You can see we have enabled this plugin as well. All right, now go to content, open land, widgets. And here we have a widget called open land underscore HF mesh widget. Right click on that and run editor widget utility. Now you have this widget and just click this button. It will configure your landscape for virtual height field mesh. It will add all the RBT related stuff and it, you are ready to go. And then select the virtual height field mesh, HF mesh from the world outline. Go to the details panel. And here we have to select the virtual texture, select the height, virtual texture volume. So that's the only thing you have to do. Now you can see we have geometry created using the virtual height field mesh. And I can change the uh, displacement value. Currently I put it to 50, but you can set to 100. Yeah, you can simply play around with these things and you're ready to go. And also we need to do one little change. Here we need to use RVT cache mode on our open land. So search for RVT cache and make sure you enable that. And I'll explain why we need to do this in a later part of this video. So that's all you have to do. You simply add uh, textures in, into one of your layers and set the displacement value and paint as you like. All right, now we are trying to do the same process, but in a detailed manner. All right, first we have the landscape and yep, uh, it's created using open land and everything is ready. I'm gonna add some textures into our custom one layer and start painting a pathway. So this is the layer I have searched on the material instance. And then what I have to do is simply add these textures. So I'm simply drag the base color, displacement texture as the height, normal map, and the roughness. All right, we, here we have something called custom one displacement multiplier and put something like 50 right now. We can change this later on. All right, now I'm gonna open my landscape tools and I'm starting to paint. Modes, landscape, and here I'm gonna select the paint. Now I'm trying to paint this custom one layer into my landscape. Here we use multiple layers. I have a manual layer set up. I'm gonna unlock that so I can start painting. Then I'll scroll down to the custom one, custom one layer, and I need to use custom one alpha because we are using the layer system. We need to use the alpha layers. All right, I have the layer info set up. All right, now I can start painting. So this brush is fine. So now I can paint like this. Then I go closer, we only have the normal map, we don't have displacement. That's totally fine, we are going to do that right now. And then I'm going to add the virtual height field mesh. Before we do that, we need to enable virtual text support as well as virtual height field mesh plugin. So first add the RBT support, edit, project settings, and search for virtual. And make sure you have enabled this enable virtual text support checkbox. That's number one and then go to edit plugins and search for virtual height field mesh and this one and make sure it's enabled after you have done these two things restart your project and then you can continue so now we have the rpt support and the plugin so now we can start adding the virtual height field mesh support so in open land we have made it super simple so go to the open land widgets and we have a new widget called open land underscore hf mesh widget Right click on that and run editor utility widget. So then you will get a widget like this with a single button. Just click that. Then it will add a two RVT volumes into your scene. They are automatically configured. Also it adds some virtual textures into your landscape as well. If you already have virtual text support, that's totally fine. This button won't change anything. And then we have a new um, volume called virtual HF mesh. Right, just select that and go to details panel from the virtual text section and select the height volume. 
So right now there's no way to like automate this process that's why you have to do this manually. As soon as you did that you will get the displacement support on your landscape like this. You can see now you, we can see real geometry. Then I can go to lit brush wireframe mode you can see the actual displacement over there. Then I can go to the my layer on the material instance and uh, in the displacement multiplier I can put something like 100, 2000 if you want to go crazy like that so uh, yeah, 30 yeah 30 looks fine in this case i like that value yep that's all we had to do but there's one more thing uh, i want to show you actually what's happening here is virtual height wheel mesh is another mesh layered on top of your landscape i, I can show you so let's go to the wireframe mode all right so here the virtual height wheel mesh on the world outline i'm gonna hide that so now you can see the actual landscape here so i can enable the virtual height wheel mesh it's a layer put on top of the landscape so i can show you in a different way of this thing and in the uh, material instance of open land search for rvt and we here we have a section called rvt height offset now let's uh, put a value like thousand so we can see now you can see what's happening here this is the landscape and this is the virtual height wheel mesh so what happened is when you merge these two things together so basically these two things and there could be some clippings uh, sometimes i can actually show you that so let's go closer now you can see in this mountain so you can see there are some sort of like a distortion happens and it's not nice basically in the landscape we use the actual material and in the the virtual light wheel mesh we use the rvt version it's the same thing but the quality was a little bit different so that's why you can see this effect so we can simply turn up that go to material instance and search for rvt cache enable the rvt cache checkbox and wait for the compilation all right now we are using the uh, rvt version of the texture in the main landscape as well so now you can see i can scroll here and there i don't see any kind of artifact yes uh basically this is it now we have the dis displacement support in our landscape so you can basically paint as you like you can use a landmass plugin if you want and you can manually paint them uh, you can use edit layers and yeah the, the same workflow and you will get the displacement and they are pretty powerful the same workflow works with 4.26 which is currently i'm using and also this works with 4.27 and 5.0 as well so here's the thing if you're using tessellation right now simply start using a virtual height fill mesh on 4.26 and then when you go to 5.0 so there's no tessellation support in 5.0 so then since you're using virtual height field mesh you don't need to do anything at all so everything is working as expected so just start using this today and i think uh, with open land we make it super simple to use yeah that's it see you soon with something interesting bye